Hi Leo and welcome to this bonus reading for you all because the July reading was the second most popular for Leo so I'm glad that resonated with a lot of you. So I'm going to do an energy check-in for you all today um, for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Remember this is general so it won't resonate with all of you because um, it's for the collective. So take what's yours and leave the rest. Okay, so first of all, the bottom of the deck, we've got financial constraints. So some of you might have some worries around finances. Maybe you've lost a job. Um, I'm seeing that change, though, with the woman holding a coin. Your luck will change. You might have a job on the way. Finances improving here. Feeling stable in the home. You are blessed with the rainbow. You might be seeing rainbows or you might see them. Um, this is a potential connection here as well. Very committed relationship on the way for some of you with four there for stability. Twin flame vibes for some of you. We've got the throat chakra that's come out. So some of you here need to heal your throat chakra, express yourself in some way, um, in whatever way that is, whether that's actually with people around you, in your family, maybe, a partner, if you, if you have a partner, your workplace, um, some of you don't feel heard, Okay, another thing I'm getting here quite strongly is some of you are in separation from someone. It's a very strong soul connection. You're not communicating. And in the middle, we've got this karmic energy that's getting in the way. Someone quite controlling. So they could be in a relationship or married to that person. Um, it doesn't just have to be a person, it could be a job, an institution, money, you know, material wealth, um, sort of fixated on the material world, let's say. Okay, let's take a bit of tarot as well for you, Leo. Apologies if you can hear my stomach rumbling. Um, it's been quite hot here. I've been a bit poorly and I haven't been able to eat. So now it's my stomach speaking to me. It, it wants to eat today. So <laughs> um, there's nothing much I can do about that. But I'll eat after this reading. Okay. Yeah, this is really positive. Leo. Um, see, here's you, the King of Wands, knowing what you want, going after it. So you've got the Lion there, your energy, feeling control. So we've definitely got a connection coming through. Notice the rainbow colours that we've got there. This person's strongly on your mind. Um, they could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I strongly feel this person wants to put things right with you. Um, so you've got the four of wands, 11, 11 there, and we've got the four there. So stability is on your mind, I strongly feel, Leo, but also this connection 
is on your mind. You've learned a lot of lessons since being in separation from this person. You've been working on yourself, working on your career. Some of you work in like some sort of therapy work, holistic work, massage, beauty. You could also be writers. You make things with your hands. Some of you are worried about finances. Maybe you're saving for a new house here. Um, and also with this card, it's showing you holding back and needing to find moderation. So there's something that might have been a little bit off balance, whether that's been spending with this financial constraints, could just be that. Um, an addiction for some of you, but I feel you're healing. Your own energy has come out here. And as you do that, you're rewarded by the divine. Um, it's really beautiful. So Sagittarius, Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo there. Let's get some more on this Two of Cups. For some of you, this is someone new who comes into your life. You might meet them through work, by the way. Yeah, same profession, they're telling me. For some of you. Wow. Two major arcana here. So this is a fresh start for some of you in love with the Wheel of Fortune. It's destined. The wheel is turning. For some of you, this is a second chance in love. Notice both images though. They feel on top of the world. You know, they're connected with the divine. Just come out here. This is divine intervention with two major arcana. A lot of fire. Again, Aries, Sagittarius, so strongly getting a fire sign coming out here. Um, yeah, some of you know this person, it's someone on your mind, they could be at a distance. You're kind of expecting them to return. You, you kind of know that they're going to. Um, yeah, a lot of confidence coming out here. And for some of you, it's, you know, it's a new partnership. So again, as I said, for some of you, it's someone brand new. Um, although I feel there's a past life connection here, actually. Wow, another two. So we've got two, two, two. Angels are around you. Yeah, the universe is supporting you here. Um, you might have a lot on. Yeah, because I feel some of you have work on your mind and your stability. Anything else on this two of pentacles? Wow, then we go from the two to the three of pentacles, which is showing building something with someone, you know, connection, a family for some of you. You might even start a business together. You know, the home is strongly coming out in this reading. Family. This could all happen quite quickly for some of you. You're going to be very happy with the sun. Let's get some more on the sun there. Some of you work from home, they're telling me. 
And they're also telling me chef. So this person could be a chef, maybe that's your job. Wow, two major arcana there. So a lot of major arcana. Yeah, see again I'm getting someone you're connected to quite strongly here with the infinity symbol. It's an infinite love. Um, but this links with what I was saying about something that you've needed to heal from, find moderation, could have been an addiction, way of thinking, codependency with this person. And you've started to learn about the law of attraction, how you know the energy you put out there is what comes to you. You can manifest what you desire as well. Uh, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo. This person also could have been in a karmic situation. In the ego, the same. Yeah, there was a tower moment. That happened in the past, but I also feel there's a tower moment to come for this person, because I was just channeling their energy. Um, a lot of conflict, inner conflict, conflict with those around them. Things crumble. Um, that weren't built on solid ground. Scorpio energy there. Yeah, then you've got this positive new beginning on the way, a lot of passion. A lot of you know this in your third eye. You're gonna feel very happy, overjoyed. Could be a new business venture here. Yeah, you see, you've got this deep inner knowing. Um, as the Empress, you've been nurturing yourself, healing, and you're ready to sort of come out. <laughs> come out to the world. Um, meet new people, for some of you, as well. You might have children, or this person might, they're telling me. Okay, let's take some charms. We've got an angel. Now, that was what I said before, with those two. There's definitely angels around you, supporting you. Divine intervention here, bringing you and this person together. And we've got the dragonfly symbol of transformation and change. Yeah, and we've, we had a five there for change as well. Transformation of you and this person, this connection, I feel. Also wings coming out there, like freedom, which came out here, you know, just letting go the sign there. Okay, let's finish with an oracle card. So we've got time to go. There's something some of you know you need to move on from. You're being guided on your divine path, and I feel the same for this person that was coming through the tower. Then we've got by the book. So doing things the right way. Um, 11 there for a divine connection. And also, what they're telling me is that in the past, if you know this person, it wasn't built on solid ground, it crumbled because there were things in the way. Um, addictions, the ego, whatever that was. But this time, 
it could go in the right way, potentially. If you do things one step at a time. Uh, got family coming out again there. Which came out here. So either you might start a family together or you have a family, as I said. I did get a child coming through. Um, two children, actually, for some of you or your person. Okay, Leo, I'll leave it there. Really hope you've enjoyed this bonus reading. Please do hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment as well if you wish. Sending peace of light to you all.